second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, ooh. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday Cries of Tiaras, welcome to Etoxic Teen Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. All right, so today we got some WAC 100 versus Benzino. Benzino versus Eminem. Okay, we're going to be getting into some comments. We got some Sweetie. We got some Nicki Minaj. Jaden's girlfriend's coming out. Well, ex girlfriend. Trouble in Paradise. Okay, we also got some Carlissa, got some words for Annalee Choppa. We gonna be talking about Asian Doll versus Crystal, Karina and Flo. Let's get into the shenanigans. Okay, so <clears throat> Wack and 100, Wack 100 and Benzino has been going back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Adult men, catty things, petty stuff. Okay, but let's just listen to what Wack 100 has to say about Benzino because Wack 100. Posted online with Benzino on the floor. Look like he has no shirt on. I'm not posting it here because, you know, YouTube. I don't, they be doing too much. There's always a different rule or something. So, he's laying on the floor. Has a steak knife in his hand. Just laying on the floor. I guess he was crying or doing something. I don't know because WAC 100 is threatening. If Benzino even talks or say anything under his video, he's going to expose it. He's basically saying he's an exposer. And this is just what he do. So, let's just listen to the clip. And let Wack 100 speak for itself. Oh, I know a lot of people got a lot to say about my movement. But my movement is my movement. Well, Valley, Noms, baby. I know how I go. Benzino, you was popping it. You, you had to know. The Wack was going to get some get back. We are the exposers. I will lose 10 battles to win the war. Now y'all tag Benzino, okay? I damn, boy, you bet not even put an emoji under this post. Well, you know what's coming, all right? Now, everybody else, Baddies in the Beast on Urban Flicks, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, every Wednesday. Y'all might see the full video of Ozino crawling around and crying like an itty bitty little boy okay so y'all heard what whack 100 has to say right granny now me personally i don't think benzino is gonna be hushed because he's already popping it we're gonna get into some of the things that he's putting out online and things that he's saying let me know down in the comments below how do you feel about whack 100 and the things that he had to say just now all right now, let's get into some of the comments after, you know, under this post, on the WAC 100's video, this is what people are saying, okay? Eminem paid you. WAC 100 said 250K, nothing major. So, according to WAC 100, Eminem paid him to do what? Beef with WAC, um, beef with Benzino? Hmm. Wack 100, we all know you the one behind that Bonnie Lachey girl having her do and say all the stuff, laugh out loud. He says, nah, not me. I just don't entertain bull crap like that. Hater, you look creepy. Hating, blood. Aw, him jealous. You probably wish you could be on Drink Champs. You probably wish you could beef with Eminem Wack. You've not even a celebrity or a manager anymore. You're a blogger. Game don't have anything to do with you. Blueface neither. Go find your buddy 6ix9ine the rat. All rats stick together. Laugh out loud. You blood or a blogger, my guy. You do a lot of itch stuff. Expose yourself three finger whack. Where's Jay Diggs at? Why don't you give him the same energy? That's right, because you're whack. You really get on my nerves acting hard and exposing people. You need exposed. This dude is a lame worse than females, okay? That's what some people have to say. Now, let's get into what Benzino had to say. Now, he posted up on his um Instagram 
with some text messages, right? You a whole itch. How come you didn't come up at him when I was up there? You going to get yours, I promise you. Why are you mad at me, you said. You should have pulled up at Adam's. You could have got your crater face blat off, okay? Off your skull. Ooh. You didn't tell me you were there. I was up there for four hours. But I'm there every Thursday. You up there every day, it's all good. Now tell me where you at. Atlanta, what's up? Okay? So apparently fighting and threats and a lot of stuff was being said in here. I think this is Benzino right there with the um with the blue. Yeah. Benzino's with the blue, okay? He's threatening WAC 100. And if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below cuz I think Benzino's the one in the blue, okay? Um Now let's get into his caption. This itch, WAC 100, can fool y'all with this tough guy stuff. But the real reason I wanted to do the interview was because I thought he would pull up so we can down. So we can down, whatever he's trying to say. I was strapped the F up the whole time I was in the room at Adam 22 and had guys in two cars outside with sticks waiting for him to pull up. If he would have pulled, he would have got the business on my dead mama. Okay, I was there for four hours. He knew I was there and he never pulled up. I'm not going back and forth with him on the Internet. That's what he wants. But this is not going to last out here doing that stuff that he do. Trust me. So Benzino is basically like, listen, we know you cloud chase. We know you expose people. We know you do the disrespectful things. We know you do this. You do that on the Internet. But this is not the Internet. Benzino is saying Benzino is saying that you could get hurt in real life. Now, dudes in their 50s arguing about stupidness. Y'all about to be put in a home in like 10 to 12 years. Settle down. <laughs> and then Benzino puts up a picture of Eminem. He had, this is when Eminem and I guess he just was beefing with himself. Because I didn't see Eminem going back and forth with Benzino at all. Unless I miss something. If I miss something of Eminem actually going back and forth online with Benzino, send it to my Instagram, Only Toxic Teen Lounge. Hit the DM and send it to me because I haven't seen it. This is your rap god, huh? Y'all can have him. He even got the white stockings pulled up to the thighs. Shaking my head. This is ridiculous. And no, this ain't AI. Because y'all know a lot of things be going out about lately right so then this year go eminem dressed in a drag and get cat williams on the phone his capture says but wait there's more watch how he puckers his lips is a video of him getting his makeup done right it's crazy because people are flooding my dms with this stuff people are finally waking up so even if that is what Eminem likes or what he does and dress up as drag or whatever, or if he's in character for a movie or a video, or whatever he's got going on, that does not take away from his rap history and what he's respected for in them bars, period. It doesn't matter. It doesn't take away his talent of what he decided to do on his personal time. Eminem said, first of all, Benzino was on Drink Champs crying, drunk and crying, Talking about uh, Eminem and then, 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 then. but you this tough guy, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with crying and you know expressing yourself because everybody's human. That's why we have emotions and stuff like that. But you're not gonna be talking about people online and feeling some type of way about them and and threatening them and doing a whole bunch of stuff. And, and then, then you're gonna go online and just start crying and doing all this stuff for what? It was the liquor. The liquor. All right. Um, so basically, that's what's being said. Now, let's get into these comments. Eminem said one bar that destroyed Benzino and had him crying to drink champs. Now, let's get into some of these lyrics of what people are saying that Eminem got on Benzino. I'm withholding my anger, though I like to be the strangler off this punk-ass little pedussy puny neck. It's my right to insist. 
that he acknowledged my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. That's what he says to himself as he used his magazines to trash me, as he sits with both his feet up at his desk. Smokes a bag of his weed and starts imagining things. And he can't, he just can't see that he's ma manically depressed, manically depressed. And in his jealousy and envy. It just whirls him in a frenzy as he turns on MTV and sees my face. He don't exist in this world. So he just twists and he twirls, spirals and spins till he hurls himself into a rage. And it's destroying him slowly because he does not even know me. Even though he sees me everywhere he goes, so he just tortures himself. He has no fortune and wealth, so he extorts someone else to get his dough. And now he's acting like a bully, so he tries to push and pull me. But he knows that he can't fool me, so he's mad. And he has no choice but to scream and raise his voice up at me because it annoys him to see that I ain't scared. You ain't no mother freaking bully, and I ain't bowing to no mother freaker. I won't allow it. Ain't gonna cower to no bully. I be damned if I don't stand up to a bully. Fight like a man and throw my hands up to a bully. And now it must be freaking with you emotionally. Okay, he goes in. Okay, and I know Benzino probably felt some type of way because you can't come. You can't come to Mr. Eminem. Damn, Benzino, Eminem, did you like that? M, break this guy so bad it looks like it's caused him two decades of trauma. Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time. Why do look like the bad guy from The Mask? Didn't he just release his diss track a couple weeks ago? Laughing my butt off. He wanted the smoke deal with the consequences. He's destroyed. Okay, now Eminem, like I said, I did not see anything with Eminem. And him responding and going back and forth is looking like Benzino is fighting with himself. Okay, Benzino gives people what they're looking for, just like he's going back and forth with WAC 100 because WAC 100 is about the incident and about the back and forth. That's what's going to happen, okay? Um, so let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about this? Do you actually think that WAC 100 and Benzino is going to link up and fight, dump it out? Mm. Mm. Who y'all think is going to win, WAC 100 or Benzino? And if Benzino and Eminem had a little tussle, who y'all think going to win, Eminem or Benzino? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so let's get into Sweetie, okay? Because Sweetie came out with a new song called Rich Activities, okay? Me personally, like I said plenty of times, if I'm ever on the topic of Sweetie, I am not a Sweetie a fan when it comes to music and stuff like that she's a very beautiful woman but when it comes to music that's just not something i like to listen to um i know she tries and i know she you know she has her her whatever but it's just not for me so if you heard rich activities now i only heard a clip of it and the clip it i don't even like so i'm gonna listen to the whole song and let y'all know my full opinion on it but I just don't like the clip that I heard. It's just, it's just not it, right? Um, so she came out with um, the song. Um, and then she's answering people in t on Twitter, okay? So I like Sweetie and root for her. But this song, during a time where a lot of Americans can't pay bills, buy groceries, or afford other necessities, let alone luxuries, is just not the vibe, Okay. Sweetie responds with a, when I was pursuing my career with barely any money to support myself in LA, I love listening to music that made me hustle harder to attain the lifestyle I always wanted. I don't know, maybe we just build different. Then somebody says, Sweetie music really is mid. Laughing my butt off. She just looked good. Sweetie says, y'all support a lot of mid music. Maybe I'll fit in. The shade, clock the shade, clock the shade. <laughs> Who y'all think she talking about when it comes to mid music? I could just name one on the top of my head. Ice Spice. <laughs> Ice Spice is mid, okay? She know how to make a TikTok song. Congratulations to her. But lyrically and stuff like that is just a no. She don't have no type of stage presence. She does the same twerk dance. Every single time, no matter where she goes, her videos, her performances on stage, 
anything she just does the same thing she needs to work on a lot of things okay um there's a lot of people out here there's males that's mid and there's females out here that's mid okay lyrically when it comes to lyricals that's just how i feel now wake that up oh clock that tea sweetie oh let's say names catch it ice spice good respond well she didn't lie and you know exactly who most of us thought of first Clock Ice Spice for me. Say the names, boo. Catch it, Cardi B. Laughing my butt off, sweetie said, if Ice Spice can rap, then me too. <laughs> she didn't really say Ice Spice name, but people are insinuating that's one of the people that sweetie's trying to shade. Um, and sweetie's also liking things that says, oh, wait, sweetie's new song. Oh, she's back. What is she back from? Her flow and everything seems the same to me. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't like it from what I heard so far. And like I said, I will give it another chance to try to listen to it because that's what I do. Okay? Because I know one time first impressions mean a lot, but sometimes you might have to listen a second time. I'm not listening to it a whole bunch of times to convince myself to like the song. That's just not what I'm going to do. But I will listen to it. And y'all heard what people say. Who y'all think that Sweetie is trying to shade with the mid music? And do you think that she is a mid rapper? I don't know. I don't know. But let's get into Nicki Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj did a whole thing. When I tell you a whole thing, y'all know how she write her stories. I be trying to tell y'all nobody is exempt. Anybody can get it. It don't matter who started. The barbs always finish it i've been doing this stuff for a long time now and every time i never try to warn people that the barbs are different they had to learn the hard way so right here she's already acknowledging that she is behind her barbs and all the antics and all the stuff that they got going on with them but before not too long ago she says oh the barbs i you know don't do this and i don't do that and i don't condone this and that girl shush we know you just said that just to try to make try to seem positive but we know the real. Things I've learned about the barbs since 2009 on this app. They never forget. They don't care how long it takes to get an op back. They never stop once they start. They'll be in that ass for life. Moment for life voice. Number four. They beat everyone at their own game while laughing and supporting Onika. Number five. They make fun sports out of giving people a taste of their own medicine. So if you do something, they will patiently wait for their turn and child woo wee. Number six. It's never business with the barbs. Once they fail, the line is crossed. It's personal. Read number six again. It wasn't a typo. I'm not their fave. I'm their family. Know the difference. And then... Play at your own risk. Pink Friday 2, Gag City. World Tour begins in 10 days, okay? So that is what she's saying. She just, you know, sometimes she does this. I know a lot of y'all be like, oh, my God, she loves her bomb. She does this, she does that. <laughs> Fine, she might like, she might like, you know, that her fan base is popping and making things happen and is riding for her and et cetera, right? But you... As their family, okay, because now the barbs is going to run with that family thing now. Now you're gassing them up. They're already, a, a majority, majority of them already have issues, obsession, and everything else. So, yeah, just let's just say that you're their family, and then they're just going to get 100 times more big-headed and gassed up and do 100 more other dumb things. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. That's her fan base, okay? Somebody said she really took the Gag City visions and made it realistic. She said, oh, itch, when I tell you, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait until you see this. Perfection. Okay? So maybe she has something coming on the way. Uh, maybe it's the tour she's talking about. I don't know. Wow, you guys, the most incredible thing is happening in eight days. Pink Friday 2 World Tour begins. I'm so in love with what you are about to experience. I was like, oop, they hoped. The ticket's so faster than Usain Bolt. Okay, bars. This person says, I'm a barb, of course. I like whatever and whoever Nikki likes. And then when she says, freak em, I say freak em too. And Nikki says, hey, yo, if this ain't the whole truth and nothing but. So the bars are jobless and miserable. Got it. We have never played about you and still don't. 
You have inspired millions, generations. Don't play with the barbs and expect us to play nice. We really don't forget. Family, we love you, Onika. I'm glad you know how we get down. We don't play about you, Onika. You saved little me. I got you for life. You're our mother. I never got that. Why do you call these celebrities sh your mother? Y'all is so sick in the head. Um, yes, yes, yes. Speak on it. Always got your back. Nobody is going to talk down on the queen ever. We get down. Don't care how long it takes to get an eye back. Heavy on it. How do y'all feel about the barbs? Let me know how y'all feel about the barbs. Are you a barb? What kind of barb are you? Because I know not all fan bases are the same. You have the ones that are delusional, obsessed, and do the most for attention for, from their fave or family member. And then you got the ones that's level-headed, that will put, that will actually hold Nikki accountable and, and be honest if they don't like a music or, or her ways and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, just because you hold somebody accountable and pinpoint the things that you don't, that you dislike of their movements or how they're behaving and stuff like that, that does not mean you hate them. That doesn't mean you're a hater. It doesn't mean that you're fake. It doesn't mean none of that. It just means that you're real with yourself. So you just be real with everybody else around you. And that's just how it is. So, so at the end of the day, if you are an ass kisser, fine, kudos to you. Have a great life with that and let me know how that plays out at the end. Or you could be somebody that holds people accountable, hold yourself accountable, and just be real all around the board, regardless of how anybody feels or what anybody says. But let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. Now, Jaden Alexis, she's been booked She's been minding her business. She's not online looking for attention and this and this and that. She did come out when, you know, Bonnie Lachey said that she was around her in the section and she ain't do nothing and blah, 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 blah. Jaden basically was like, Shanika, you did nothing. And she didn't, okay? She didn't want no smoke with Jaden Alexis. But Jaden Alexis' ex, because I don't even know if that was a real relationship or not. Maybe that was just for the camera or maybe that was just for fun. I don't know. But Jaden Alexis' ex came out and she has some things to say. People are insinuating that Jaden went back to blue face. That's why they're not together because of the things that the girl's saying in the video. Yeah. But, okay. Okay. but let's listen to the clip. I just want her to be happy. And if that's who makes her happy, then who am I to like the I, I'm, Then I'm happy for her, period. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, the friendship part is kind of sucks. But, you know, yeah. we'll never treat her right ever. You don't know that. I really don't wish that on her. I hope that she gets treated the best. I hope I hope she gets treated deserves because she really does. She deserves everything. Um, she's a great mother, great person. She deserves absolutely the world. And so I hope that she gets that. Is he wearing blue face clothes? No. Why does everybody say that? I was not wearing his clothes. I literally have the sweater. And I'm going to show it to you right now because people were saying that about me. No, I do not wear nobody else's clothes. It's in my closet. This is mine. Please stop with the shit. All right, maybe I'm kind of deaf or something and I ain't hear it, but I didn't hear her say anything about Jade and Alexis left me for Blueface or any of that. It just, you could just tell that they're not together and she's basically like, if that's what she wants, if that was make her happy. And we only know of Jade and Alexis being with Blueface. So at the end of the day, put two and two together. Um, she also want to let people know that she's not wearing blue face clothes. She got her own clothes and she shows the shirt. Do y'all think Jaden and Alexis and um, Shorty right here was, uh, uh, like, official? Or you think that it, they was just, you know, having some fun and messing around, you know, because we don't see Jaden and Alexis with nobody but Blueface, so why not have a little girly since she is bi? You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I didn't take that serious. I didn't look at them. They was cute or whatever, but I didn't look at them like, oh, my God, this is going to last. Oh, my God, this is perfect. Oh, my God, yes, yes, yes. No, I didn't think that. I didn't. I don't think that um, Jaden Alexis is officially 100% over with Blueface. So we shall see how everything plays out when he comes back out. Because right now, Jaden Alexis is chilling. She's doing what she has to do as a mom. You know, she's having her fun, you know, having her cake and eat it too. And it is what it is, okay? Um, She's not really, she might be stressed and she might be doing all of that or feeling some type of way that Blueface is locked up because she is and she's been doing it by herself for real, for real, to be honest with you because, let's be honest. 
Um, but she might be feeling these type of ways, but she's not going to publicly put it out online and let everybody be in her business. And, you know, and that's just how she be moving. So at the end of the day, I respect it. Nobody, everybody don't got to be in your business. <laughs> Carlissa has something to say to Emily Chopper. Okay. Now, little my boo and Emily Chopper made a song. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the pictures. They have a knockoff Krishan. And everything. So, I didn't listen to the whole song. But I'm assuming that they're taking shots at Blueface and Krishan. Okay? That's basically what is given. Okay? Carlissa, people were sending to her. Da, 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 da. She has some things to say to Ellie Chopper. So, let's get into the shady stuff. Now, hold on. A, B, C, D, N, L, E. Don't let Lil Moby D get your head wet. Cause I remember what you said when me and your mama had to jump on this here intranet and save your little ass. You said, word for word, bar for bar, you said my son was too big. You said he too big, he too strong, and he too trained. Don't let Lil Moby D get your ass wet. And don't send your mama on here looking for me. So, if y'all did not hear this song, let me know how y'all feel about it. I actually didn't listen to the whole song, so I will listen to it and really listen to see what's going on. But Carla said that's what she said. Not A, B, C, N, L, E, D, B, B. She, for one thing, Carlissa, she be extra online and stuff, but this is just what she does now. So this is just something that we have to accept. She's going to come online and speak how she feels about things and she's going to insert herself in things that she feels that she needs to insert herself with, okay, or in or whatever. But one thing about it, she's funny. She is a character, okay, and that's just basically what it was. And she just had to speak up. You understand what I'm saying? As she do. So... Let me know how y'all feel about it because I feel like the knockoff Krishan and all of that was actually kind of funny. Um, and they did a, a, a quite a good job trying to find somebody that's similar to her body, body shape and everything. Um, especially like if you see a glimpse of her, the girl in the video really quick and stuff like that. Um, and stuff, you, you would think that it was Krishan. Some people already thought it was Krishan. It's like, hold up, this Krishan? Because if you see reactions... On YouTube, people really thought that was Krishan for a second. Okay. But um, let's get into Asian Doll and Crystal. They're going at it. Okay. <sighs> Bear with me. Okay. Because the Twitter fingers are tweet twittering away. X in a way. Because they're X now. It's X. So they're X in their fingers away. Okay. Let's get into it. So as y'all know, Asian Doll is always into something with something. She always have these ex-friends that they always fall out, and then they start going online exposing each other. It's just like a pattern, okay? It's very annoying, okay? Um, so let's get into this. Okay, so Crystal reposts. Um, not too much on Crystal, because a lot of you females then have friends who you thought was your friend that couldn't wait till you had a falling out to do some snake stuff or air out your business. Y'all would be doing the same. Then Crystal says, and no shade, my stuff said Dirk's wife when I was in the eighth grade. Snapchat just updated it for us to change. Like you saying anything, G, let it go. I don't like you. Carry on with your miserable self, with your miserable life. Then there are tweets from 2014 of Asian Dar basically talking about little Dirk. You... And then she put the hard eye emojis and add a little Dirk. Who do you love? And then she says, little Dirk is the sexiest man on this earth. So people are saying, okay, well, you talked about little Dirk. You said this. And like, what is like, people always say something and always things resurface, right? So that's what's being said. Then Crystal also says, the last thing I'll say is this. Proving every lit and beautiful girl you befriended, you are no longer their friend. The common denominator is you. You hate women who don't live in your shadow. You freak their man, talk about them, and run to social media. You're a bad friend, daughter, and sister. And you scream gang rhetoric loudest when we all know you're a rat. 
You say I'm dirty Asian. You say I'm dirty Asian. The world knows you are musty. Mwah. No deodorant. Mwah. No mom. Mwah. No man. Mwah. No career. Mwah. Mwah. Bad surgeon. And rap pedussy. Hmm. Then Crystal retweets. It's weird clocking a itch pedussy unless you want to eat it. No shade. Then Crystal says, I was told to ignore someone who's not a, a part of the label. I missed my first chance to dox a itch, but I won't miss this next time. Being mad because I don't freak with you is crazy. Take it up with God. Ain't no changing my mind. Girl, what polo never wanted me to be your friend because he met you in the studio, freaking little TJ? You got X'd out of ODA because you signed to DOA and got evicted. Now, say I'm lying. You sent your ugly body friend, Posh, to freak my baby daddy. You told them what the freak they said you did. Take ownership. You're a terrible friend. Itch, the world was against you and I was your friend. Asian, we were friends. You snaked me. Take a break from social media and your car commercials and focus on your career. You are crashing out. You went from ODA to a career being DOA. Give it a break. If you want to address me, you have the number. Clock that shade. Okay? Please don't threaten me with a good time. Your sister coming to Texas. Itch, please. I'll be waiting at the Greyhound for her arrival. Bum. You know how we get. Now her threatening an Asian doll sister. Ooh, ooh, it's going to get crazy. Itch, you can't out me. I already told my BD the truth. Not your delusional story. You wanted my guy. Wanted to be gone yourself if I even said hey to Kayla. But you was kicking it with people lying on you. Ooh, clock the shade. Girl, you can't clock no tea. Girl, you stayed with me on my couch. Itch, when Seven couldn't get you no new place, had him trying to get your cribs on CPNs because you ain't have no credit. If I really put your business out, I'll be no better friend than you are. It's quiet for you, and I'm not freaking no stud or dyke haven't done that in months. Okay. Um. Now let's get into what Asian Doll had to say. It's just that talk so much stuff but can't fight. Only want to hang with girls they know can fight. It's so weird to me. Girl, fight your own battles, big mouth. We'll slap a itch and a black flip in real life. Richer than any girl out here with my name in their duck lips. I cut girls clean off. A girl ain't never cut me off in real life. And I put that on my granny. That's why girls be pressed because they know ain't no coming back. Itch, I stand on whatever I say. And no girl never played tough with me in person. Because itch just know I be ready to fight a girl. Ain't never took that risk and played crazy on God himself. Then she's liking things that said Jazz want Asian though. Because there's a clip with Jazz basically saying that she would get Asian because Asian is cute and da 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 da. Right. So Asian doll also likes what Karina said. I never told her to pick a side. She knew I genuinely had no problem with either of them. Which makes her weird for all of this because she know my intentions was pure. And one thing I never did was defend Asians, so it's not the same at all. And we're going to get into Karina in a minute, okay? When it comes to Crystal and Asian, like I stated before, there's always somebody falling out, going on the internet, and exposing all these things they know about somebody. That is some weak stuff, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's like, y'all put these things out there to keep an ongoing beef for what? Over stupid, petty things. If y'all not going to be friends, just part ways. That's it. Just call it quits. That's it. To the lose. Bye bye. Deuces. Like, why y'all dragging on to be extra? Like, it's just so annoying. So, at this point, let's get into Karina. Because the Asian doll and the crystal 
do you think that Crystal going to run down on Asian Doll's sister and a whole bunch of stuff? Because I feel like this is going to get out of hand and hopefully they record. <laughs> I said it because who cares? I'm not the one in the situation, so why the hell do I care? It's entertainment. So y'all want to entertain us? Make sure y'all record the tussle. And that's just that on that. Now let's get into Karina. This is the last thing we're going to be talking about. Karina had went on Twitter, okay, and she posted up her and Flo, okay? And she said, happy birthday, my boy. This is what she reposted, right? Now, people on the blogs put up what she said, happy birthday to Flo. Y'all know that's her ex. They had a DV situation, so apparently people are thinking that they're back together and they're bashing her online about everything. So, we're going to get into some things that she had to say, okay? So, she posted up the happy birthday to Flo. Right. She's also liking things like this. Don't explain yourself to nobody. Everybody makes mistakes and nobody perfect. Keep doing you, boo. And congratulations on your baby. People stay hating on you and your relationship. What you and Flo got going on? Shaw. Freak the haters. My opinion. Y'all cute as F. I don't care what nobody says for real. Any mother effer that's hating, block them. <clears throat> I just want all y'all frog faces girls to know y'all ain't hurting nobody but yourselves with these replies. Like she said, be mad. Why y'all mad at her? Y'all ain't got to live her life, nor do y'all have to follow her. Okay, so basically if she's liking these things, this is implying that what everybody is saying about her and Flo getting back together or still dealing with each other or whatever the case may be because she's liking these things, insinuating this is what how she feels. <laughs> she doesn't care about what nobody says. She's still going to do her regardless if it's a DV situation or not, and that's just what it is. And that is true. That's her life. And her life is what she's going to put on the internet. And when she does that, people have opinions. And that's what we're going to do. That's where we come in and we start giving opinions. So if nobody likes opinions, being said about them and their decisions and stuff like that, don't put it online. It's as simple as that. Karina's a really, really beautiful girl. So I feel like she could do better than Flo. I feel like she should know her worth and know that she deserves more than what she was getting, whatever treatment that he was giving her, okay? <clears throat> but at the end of the day, that is her life. She's going to do whatever she wants to do, just like us all, okay? We put ourselves in certain situations knowing what might be the consequences or might be the outcome, but we still thug it out and still deal with it. And then after, it's either we can have a lesson learned or we're just going to keep doing it and, and just keep going on with the same pattern in life, dealing with the same men or the same situations and stuff like that. But if you are putting your stuff publicly, you are going to get public opinions, and that's just what it is. A lot of people are so upset over people's opinions that it just gets ridiculous because they take it too far to the to the extent where they want to fight you and start threatening you and start talking about kids and stuff like <clears throat> stop the bull crap 2024 leave that back there please because y'all be doing a little bit too much okay grow up grow up a lot of the stuff that child females be fighting for it be so petty It'd be so petty. It's not even as serious, for real. A lot of people should learn how to handle certain situations, okay? But if you're a problematic person and you just have nothing but negativity in your life, that is what is going to get drawn to you a lot of the times. Now, don't get me wrong. Life throws, life be throwing the boomerangs, all type of stuff at you, trying to test you and trying to see what, like, how you, what you going to do, Right? That's life, but if you continuously like drama, like negativity brought to you or to others and stuff like that, that's just what you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life until you learn how to stop all of it and learn how to live a different way. But at the end of the day, I said everything that I need to say. Let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. The videos, I'm going to try to get both of them out by today, if not by tomorrow. But it's going to be out, okay? But anyway, I love y'all. See y'all in the next one. Toodaloo. Bye.